Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. You. You're pretty. That's kind of creepy. So, what's your, you know, major? I think we're going to go with this one. We're kind of drunk anyways. You're pretty, she says. Coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. If only it were that easy, huh? If only it were that easy. Okay. RT to use objects. Pick up the backpack. I absolutely love this game. And for those of you that have seen it, I can almost be sure that you probably agree. Go ahead and load the gear. You date for over a year, and she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There is also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Hmm. I would probably go for the Shepherd, but if that's what Julia wants, that's what Julia gets. Buck, it's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. And you love them too. 1979. You talk out on the deck in summer at 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? Um, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, you know, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty cool. One day. Why rush? You know me. You guys know me. I'm all about having kids. I love my kids, so that sounds cool. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Colors in this game are just to die for. But that was way back when, when life was good. It's 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. What about me, Julia? 
Huh? I've been waiting for you for four hours. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like a He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. You look awesome. I love the slow pace with the subtle background music to this game. The way it just begins is so unique and almost to the point that I wonder why do we not have another Firewatch game? It's been almost four years since I last checked this game out. Anyways, we are almost at two forks, eight miles to go. Look at those radiant colors, man. Sheesh. It's 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. It's been almost 10 years since we've been together, by the way. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from far, far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. B but Bah! Fuck! The, the dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker and you scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Nine years later, 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Gila gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair, she wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Wow. I've been in this situation before in my past. And I actually left together. So this is clearly not an option. So I'm going to be selfish today. I'm sorry. You tell her that this means you won't have a family she says that's bullshit she's totally right she asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her you say yes again <laughs> bullshit but she decides not to take it oh, i feel bad now 1985 julia is asked to leave boulder on paid leave after having an episode she lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset of dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Ugh. Nearly 10 minutes in and... I've already got some sort of emotion flowing through me right now. Go ahead and pick up the journal. Whoa, what the hell? Yo, chill. No, no, open up the journal. Bucket is getting older. I should have probably read that. We'll get to that. No worries. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. 
she's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family and they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggested Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her. Absolutely not. I will never do that. I will take care of her myself. I do not care what the cause is. I'm absolutely not. This game is truly magical. If you guys have never experienced this story, I recommend you guys stay for a while and join me on this mysterious yet romantic ominous adventure. Is that a buck? Oh. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her like when she tries to cook her own food. You don't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. You start going out after you put, out, uh, put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Put a chair in front of the door room. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Yeah, I wouldn't want to imprison her in there. She might freak out even more. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and bed by 1 a.m. a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Uh, 1989. One night you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point 10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell her, or excuse me, you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They cannot believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You do not argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. And so, here we are. Welcome to Firewatch. Enter the lookout tower. What is that? I forgot what the uh, interaction button was. Was it the right trigger? I don't, I don't even know. I guess we'll figure it out once we get up there. And this game, the colors in this game. I honestly wish we had more games that look like this, you know? Triple A games as well. I just feel like this color palette and the cartoony aspect of it, it it's so pleasing it's basically eye candy turn the power on here we go generators off oh i was mistaken hello two forks tower hmm delilah i actually quite love that name two forks tower this is thoroughfare tower come in oh the lt to activate the radio Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. 
Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Hmm. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. You've killed three ex-husbands. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Day one. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. So answer the radio call. Sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. Wow. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi... What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <gasps> Are those fucking fireworks? Wait, where's the compass? Do we have a compass here? Oh, over here. There it is. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? I sure do. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them? <laughs> Maybe write them a ticket. Do you think you can handle that? Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Okay. Convenient. That's one word for it. Alright, so... We've got our map. Um... Zoom in was with LB. We're here. And so, find rope in NFS cash box 306. All right, let's go ahead and lower the map. And let's get running. Running, running, running. Whoa! Delilah? So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. All right, thanks for the info. What do we got here? We've got a baseball. I'm gonna leave the baseball right here. I don't know if we'll need it later on. So I will throw it right back in. I'm probably going to forget it's even there. Okay, it's out of the grass. This is all the electricity you've got. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. 
Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. A wooden sign. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I didn't know you can pick up items and examine them. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Ah, uh, thanks, Mom. All right, so we're headed over to cash box 306. I think I'm coming the right way. Let me really quickly pull up the map again. Yep. Just right after this log here. Ugh. I was looking at the dates the other day, and I still cannot believe it was in the year 2000 that I last played this game. That's kind of crazy. Excuse me. 2020, not 2000. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. On the supply box. I found the supply box. Great. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. One, two, three, four. That's the code. All right, this is good stuff. We've got uh, a pine cone. Hmm. Examine the pine cone. Cool. Drop the pine cone. A granola bar. Hold on. Just throw that there. Huh. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Nice. Oh, we can actually eat this. Let's go ahead and eat. Mmm. Delicious. The old rope. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. All right. So we're going to go ahead and copy the info here. Let me read the letter first. I found a note between a couple of guys. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but... Yeah, one of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. So July 7th of 86. Ron. Hey, man. A guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but uh, let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Okay. So we could have just done this and read it. I guess easier. Anything in the back? I'll go ahead and keep that, just in case. You can review the kept notes. Perfect. Copy information to the map here. Map has been updated. So, amazing view up ahead. The two forks lookout and medicine wheel all the way down south. I kind of wish we could run with the map outside. That way we would have to, like, you know, bring it out, put it back, bring it out, put it back. Tends to get a little repetitive. All right, so we are definitely on the right track here. We've got a clawed up tree. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Hmm. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Hmm. 
What about shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? That's uh, actually English for not in my job description. I feel like Henry's a little uptight, huh? No, no. Oh! <laughs> that was deserved. Is it me or just got a little darker? Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Hmm. Okay, so we cannot go down here because we no longer have a rope. But... I believe eventually we will. What do we have? Ooh, hold on. Report meadow. I love a nice camping spot. These cliffs down here are something. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Here we go. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Yep. Hold on. Seems to be some sort of little campfire here. And we've got some beer cans. Hmm. Let's go ahead and report the cans. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. Alright, so we'll go ahead and clean up. <laughs> That's the job of a park ranger. Kind of, sort of. Another beer can. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwa light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, <laughs> though, that's for sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the radio away, Henry. Let's search these backpacks. Or report them at the very least. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Hmm. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Let's go ahead and pick this up. I wonder if you get some sort of achievement for picking up all the cans. Hmm. Fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Okay. Will do. As you wish. And we've got clothes. It seems like they are currently skinny dipping. Well, they left Teenagers, their clothes I tell you. Looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Okay, let's go find them. Oh, but hold on, it gets worse. A bra. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. I found some panties. Disturbing. Oh, more panties? Uh, Dear there goodness. Are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Cool stereo! Oh, cool hey, stereo, dude! Sure, here you go! It was expensive. You, you asshole! Fight another firework and it won't be your stereo I rap. Oh, fuck you, psycho! <laughs> Hey, Don't hey. fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Uh, I don't think I made the right decision here. They just... Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. They just... Har hmm. We have been threatened by teenagers. Hey, that go okay? Uh, <laughs> not necessarily. 
I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. Shouldn't have been here anyways. Damn teenagers. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. All right, so there's a trail to the left. And so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the map here. If we go all the way straight, I think we end up back into where we came from. But what is this? If we go this way. Where does this take us? Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Hmm. Another supply cache. Could this be one, two, three, four as well? I don't know. One. I think we're eventually will come back down here. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. It is. Old sweater. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado. I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Hmm. Examine. The fourth estate. Richard Sturgeon. Or is it Sturgeon? I'm gonna drop that. No need for that nonsense. There's another letter here as well. And we've got some map information that probably ought to copy down. I love how it also says no fireworks. And what are we here for? Fireworks. So we've got a note as well. Let's go ahead and read it. Ron, I got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff's isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Profesionales is Italian. Hmm. I'll go ahead and keep that note. Get this book. Put it back in there. Close the supply cache. Hmm. I think we've got to go back. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, hold on. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or... <sighs> consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and head back. I think it's getting kind of late here anyways. I think it's time for us to go back to our fire watch tower lookout, whatever. Was it this way? Yes. Hmm. But we don't have a rope. What the heck? Huh? I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Mm, this way, okay. Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on. You're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Hmm. So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase or what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, 
what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hmm. That's crazy. A hundred thousand acres? I mean... Sheesh. I've told you guys this before. Uh, the biggest plot of land that I've been at, like, you know, owned by someone individually, was, um, I think it was, what, a thousand acres? And it was like, I don't know, whoa. I don't know, it was almost unfathomable. It was unbelievable how big this dude's property was. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right, because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I just got here like a day ago. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? There's something weird going on with this controller. It doesn't... It's, I don't know if this game is very well optimized for controller. I've never really had this issue, but, like, I can't even move forward. It's kind of weird. Get... Get, get there. Come on! Damn it, Henry! Let me go backwards. Yeah, that's weird. So, funny enough, it just started raining here as well. It's about to be nighttime. The sun is setting, and I can kind of look outside my window. And Absolutely beautiful. But, in other news, we've got ourselves a flashlight. Ah! Yes. Sweet. All right. a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. <laughs> Alright, let's go to uh Did we drop it? I don't think we're gonna be needing that. Alright, let's go ahead and copy up the map. I think we can go inside this cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> Hello? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Oh! Mm. So we need a key for that. <sighs> now, wasn't there... Wait a minute, 
where are we? Weren't we supposed to head the other way? Whoa, what is this? Old cabin, what in the world? <gasps> Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay then. Huh? Ooh, so she's not replying to us. Should I be concerned here? Let's go ahead and open this up. One, two, three, four. I love how every code is one, two, three, four. <laughs> what do we have here? Korea veteran. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. All You'd right. Surprise how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Oh, it's actually opened. <gasps> what in the world? Yeah, the walking in this game has really been frustrating me lately. Cigarettes, old trash. Hmm. Kind of wish we could radio her about this. A burned guitar. A burned bed. Was this due to that fire many, many years ago? Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stupid raccoon. <sighs> True story. I had a baby raccoon stuck in my pool the other day. I had to use like a pool net to help it. It was wounded. I think it got bitten by a fox or something. Anyways. Holy crap, I think I might have just gotten rabies. Go on. I'm, I'm sniffing around an old lookout and I got attacked by a raccoon. Did he bite you? I, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably fine. Wait, is the lookout you're in burned to a crisp and filled with raccoons? Uh, apparently. Ooh, hawks rest. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, I see what you're doing. What, what do you mean? I just like to stay out of haunted places myself. Hmm. Okay, go on. Out with it. You want to hear about Raccoon Carter? <laughs> Whoa. So, some years ago, way before my time, a man named Winthrop Carter was stationed at Hawk's Rest. He was an angry, angry loner. The story was he lost his life savings betting on horse fights. Horse fights? In Mexico. So he did what a lot of us do in times of trouble. He signed up with the Forest Service to watch for fires. His first night in his lookout, there was a break-in. And the break-ins didn't stop. Finally, one night, he awoke to find someone in his lookout. He reached for his hand axe and threw it at the figure. But just before the axe killed its target, he heard a small voice cry, Help! What was it? A raccoon. Oh, of course. See, back in these days, the Forest Service wasn't so good about dropping off food and supplies, and... Well, Carter was hungry, so he did what anyone would do. He skinned and ate it. Eventually, Carter didn't want to eat anything else. It was raccoons or nothing. But one night, as he sharpened his raccoon blade, there was a scratching at the door. He looked towards it, and again, heard a tiny voice. Help! Help! He approached slowly, knife in hand, and ripped the door open. But no one was there. But then, from under the bed, he heard another small voice. Help! Help! Carter looked under the bed, and of course, nothing was there either. So, startled, but believing he was just tired, Raccoon Carter went out hunting, and for the first night in months, came up empty. Now, in bed, his stomach rumbling, he hears the voice again. Help! Help! And now, he wonders if it's coming from inside of him. But then... A figure appears at the edge of the bed. Again, he reaches for his axe, but in its place is another figure. He looks for the door, and there are more and more figures. Beady, glowing eyes peering out through dark masks. He leaps out of bed, horrified, slips and hits his head. 
And before he can get up, he feels hundreds of little fingers and razor sharp teeth digging into his skin. Far away in Bighorn Tower, the lookout reported hearing a voice echoing through the valley. Loud at first, and then smaller and smaller, until they faded away forever. Help! 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 And that's the story of Raccoon Carter. His ghost still wanders through the valley, moaning, Help! Help! On hot summer nights. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna talk about the figure, or we're just gonna keep talking about raccoons? So, if Raccoon Carter died, how do we know this story? They found his body ripped to shreds by raccoons, and, and Hawk's rest was filled to the brim with raccoon pelts. That's probably what caused the fire. That doesn't make any sense. Does anything, Henry. Yeah, cool, but can we talk about the figure up there? Oh, apparently we cannot anymore. That was a really long story. To, I was not expecting that story to last the entire way here. But I'm kind of glad it did. Okay, we're almost there. Come on. Climb on up. Henry. Ugh. Whew, I'm kind of tired. It's been a long couple of days, huh? Guess we'll be able to sleep in tomorrow as well. I can get used to this. Definitely. There's another fork. Man, there's so many ways that you can just kind of sidetrack in this game. I could have actually just ran up here instead of doing all that climbing for no reason. Here we go. One more time, Henry. Gosh, I'm tired. Almost there. The trail was closed. Wouldn't you look at that? Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Thankfully for us, we've already investigated this little area here. The generator seems to be working. That's awesome. Nobody here. Perfect. Go ahead and uh, head on back to our watchtower. Whoa, what the heck? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? <laughs> you should get inside. Huh? Fuck me. What the fuck? Wait. Wait a minute. Why would I want to hop on over this? It was telling me to read the map. Okay, I'll go upstairs and then see if we can read the map once we're in. Gotta put my typewriter back. This damn bastard. Oh, broken window. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. No? What the hell do I do now? Just go to sleep. Go to, go to sleep? I'm not gonna go to sleep right now. Um. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? Uh, perhaps, uh, the girls at the lake. Maybe the guy in the canyon. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. Uh, 
I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Sweet. I need you to feel safe out here. I don't feel safe. I'm not scared. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Wake up. <sighs> Window's still broken. Hey, wake up. <sighs> this girl's getting kind of annoying. Go ahead and pick up the radio. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Mm. Wait, so we're we going back to where we came from? It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, gosh. I love how you can just pick up random things. Let me see something. Can I throw this through the window? May 2nd of 1989. Sleep is going to be a real problem. Without making this a list of all that's happening all the time. For Henry from the future. This was the night your tower got turned over and your sheets were gone. Going to have to figure out that, to, that out today because last night wasn't good and I'm fucking freezing. I was 100% sure I wouldn't have any jewels dreams out here since I was sleeping in a new place and everything but sure enough. During 30 minutes, I fell asleep around 5 a.m. There we were back on the beach in Melbourne. There's that moment where I know it's coming, where I know the water is going to come up and up and up, and I think I'm going to spew or my heart is going to stop or something, but this time I woke up before anything happened. Maybe that's progress. I had my fingers crossed that I would just be dreaming about squirrels and mountains and trees and shit, but what are you going to do? Hmm. Photo with Julia. So sweet. <laughs> That's me. Oh man, so sad. Alright, so anyways, I think right now what we have to do... Grab my backpack. Let's get out of here. Day two. Here we go. Is there a way that I can see the objective? Uh, Delilah? Alright, so survey communications uh, lines north of the canyon. Okay, so the canyon north would be that way. So we're going to literally have to come back where we came from. So let's go this way. Came from here. Wait, what the hell? Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah, Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. 
That happens this summer. You'll really be in for it. There. My baseballs. So what do we have here? Bear tooth. So do we have to go this way? This is exactly where we came from, correct? And jump. I'm starting to get the hang of this. This is perfect. I will become the ultimate park ranger. Firewatch duty. Overdrive. I don't even know what I said. I'm sorry. All right, we're back into the cave. Here we go. Ooh, fog. Uh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Hmm. Talk about Bucket. Talk about Julia. Hmm. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Hmm? What? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, I can hear you. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Uh, ask about that call. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. <laughs> she stepped away. She got annoyed. Well, whatever then. Delilah. Alright, so I think... We're supposed to... Should have talked about Julia, to be honest. But I was kind of curious. I should have known she wasn't going to say anything. So I hung a left out of the cave and I'm passing through Thunder Canyon now. I'm not seeing any wires in here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it sounds like you turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Look, from the cave, you just want to come out and go straight to the north. Got it. Those are the wires. Ooh. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Hmm. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Okay, so now we can probably go this way, which is... Yeah, this was blocked off, remember? <laughs> Yeah, if you were paying attention, you probably do. Alright, so now we can go down here. Down this way. Follow the cables. There we go. Ooh. Here's something in the bushes. Either that or I'm actually hearing things. Oh, I hear something. I think I'm losing it, guys. I think we're going a little crazy here. Right, so I could go around. There is a supply box at the top of the cliff. And so we got to go up there. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Could find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Mm -hmm. Inspect the communication line pull up close. Let's go ahead and open this up. One, two, three, four... Boom. All right, what do we got here? Map information, always good. Thank you. Good job, Henry. And we've got another note. July 30th of 86, Dave. Hey, you. It's funny. Delilah said that just a few minutes ago. I got your note about needing to talk. And sorry I didn't track you down. 
Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out uh, near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could uh, really help anyway, but uh, we're co-workers, you know? Amigos, profesionales, profesionales, that's how you would probably say that. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go tr uh, time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the, li with the life stuff. You get it? Later, Ron. I know, guys. My reading is terrible. Okay, my 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 eight year old son reads better than me. I'm sorry. I had a, a rough upbringing. Here we go. I'm trying my best. We go ahead and drop down here. Oh gosh. Getting too old for this crap. Once you hit your forties, your joints hurt, and my knees right now are killing me. But here I am. Working for the government. Absolute bullshit. There's another beer. Interesting. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Hmm. Why do you think they'd be up here? Why can these girls be so stupid? Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Hmm. Remember, they did say that we were going to pay for that. So, no, nope. there we have it. This is us paying for that. I think that was them. I'm not sure. I don't know if like what happened in our watchtower was the girls or the mysterious figure guy or the other way around. But it seems like this was definitely the girls doing. Go ahead and pick up another beer can. I'm not going to go ahead and drink anything just in case they've decided to poison me. St stinking teenagers. Go to hell. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, what? Here we go. Well. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell hmm. out of them. Yeah, I'd make a no. spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I'll find them. Thanks. Uh, Damn, Delilah, you. Raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. You are a I'd savage. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Mm. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. All right, Maybe so we... they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Let's go ahead and come here. Ooh. All right, so we've got a map. Um, I just want to see something. Where are we right now? We are... Hmm. I think we've got to keep going this way. I just want to see really quickly if we were to go down and under through this spot here. Where would that take me? I think it takes me exactly to where we came from. So. Oh, there's another can. I want to make sure I clear everything out. I mean, I am here. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that is. I thought I thought it was an apple for a second. I'm sorry. Slightly delusional right now. I've been, I've been running and walking all day for the last three days. Day zero on the way here. Day one yesterday. Day two right now. And I'm quite frankly getting sick and tired of this. Black trail. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed mm -hmm. when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, mm -hmm. if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. 
exactly. Alright, so I guess coming down here it is. Here we go. Oh, nice. Two miles to the south. 4.8 miles to the north. Here we've got two forks, Jonesy Lake, Thoroughfare, and Supply Drop, which would be... Hmm. Oh, that's the one that we already opened. Nice. All right. So far, so good. I think we're doing pretty good. Oh, what do we have there, huh? I wonder if we can actually fall off from here. A hanging backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Nice, another supply box down there. Go ahead and grab this backpack. Get over here! And this is where we get the rope, I think. The other rope. Ooh! We got a camera? Well, I am flush with ropes now. Hmm. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Nice. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Ex-lover, Delilah? What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so... You know, our love could never oh, really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Oh, Ned. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Hmm. Notice how Delilah doesn't really do anything. She's always in her office in a little tower. And I'm the one always down here doing all the heavy work. Anyways, got another note here from Dave, or to Dave. From who? From Ron. Dave. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. <laughs> I went up to check out that new guy uh, at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney, uh, Chimney Rock having himself uh, into the hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. All right, my boy. Ron was kind of excited. Fossilized claw. What in the world? Hmm. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Yeah, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Hmm. That's cool. I would have kept that. Sadly, I cannot keep it. I will close it. Can I take a picture of that actually? Hold on. Huh. Cool. Well, that's about it. Here we go. All right, so we can actually, we came from over there. We can go this hey, way. Ooh. sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must've sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. 
Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <sighs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. Mm -hmm. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even, full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Okay. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. All right, so the map says there's a fence here. Or that's the fence we came from. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right, so there's obviously a dead end here. We'll go ahead and... Uh, Follow the road. Follow the path. Another burned tree. What is this? Supply. Yeah. See, there's a little fork at the end. So I think we're on the right path. I don't know why I hear, keep hearing somebody like... I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking Could be a flapjack recoon. off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like the <laughs> loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Okay, here we go. Let's go to this one first. And then we'll go to the source. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Okay, here we go. This is... I mean, we could definitely come back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach the rope first. Hold on, give me a second. My daughter's here. She's knocking. I'll be right back. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Kids just got back from Grandma's house. Anyways. What does she have? Oh, God. Stop asking me these personal questions, Delilah. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, 
and that was it. Yeah, I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Okay, so this was basically a shortcut. And uh, once we start getting this rope, well, once we get this rope, which we already did just recently, uh, you can just start using it to kind of shorten your way from point A to point B sometimes, like like so. So, I guess this, um, it's a good thing that we kind of check the the left side out. And we'll go up this trail. We'll be able to finally go into the smoke area. Here we go. Ugh. Nice. Perfection. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa, look at this. Thin column of smoke. Should we take a picture? Maybe not yet. Yeah, perhaps not yet. I think we ought to just attach the rope here. Woohoo! Here we go! I would love to kind of be doing what this guy is doing right now. Obviously, for like just a day. Maybe not something that I know I'm going to have to be doing for a few months or years. Just, just to kind of experience it, you know. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh, yeah. You hmm. should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> Alright, so I'll go ahead and attach this. That way we can just unlock the uh, shortcut. And then we'll... <sighs> see, I might have a little muffin top. Actually, I don't have a muffin top. Anyways, I was going to say I'm quite the uh, athletic male. Alpha peak performance. Full display here for you guys back home. Got the little music playing. This is just wonderful. We'll keep going and climbing. This is a good workout for me, you know? Sometimes it's good. Am I going the right way? The music is telling me yes. Okay. Or maybe not. Honestly, I don't even know. It feels like I'm not anymore. Ooh. Wait a minute. What? We were here before. Did I really just... We just came all the way over here. Guys, did we just completely backtrack? So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Huh. Okay, where is the smoke? I think I completely lost the source of the smoke. Actually, I take that back. I think we have officially found the smoke. Perfection. All right, so we were, oh, that's right. There was this thing here that we, that's right. Nice. Well, I'm back at my shitty boss is gonna get me killed hill. You ready to give it another shot? Here we go. Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh, have no fear. Henry, the Firewatch Park Ranger, is here. There's another raccoon. Say cheese! Hold on. I gotta be very careful here. I don't want to get spotted. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. Pears, pears, pears! 
Oh, you. Yes! Why? Why would you do that? What the hell, Delilah? Is this some sort of code I missed? Are we evacuating or something? <laughs> no. Then what then? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. No, actually, I hate you. I was going to bond with the raccoon that nearly killed me last night. And here you are. Okay, so actually, hold up. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? We've got to go this way, matter of fact. Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. We were supposed to take the rope that we nope. recently just threw down. Hmm. And this is somewhere I think we've been to before, but that's where our rope broke. I don't know. A lot of these areas kind of look the same, so. But now, if we take a final look here, now we're going on the trail to Five Mile Creek. And that's going to be exactly where the smoke is coming from. Got another fork on the road. That's always exciting. Nothing too crazy, so. Maybe go around, check this side. Is there a cave or anything back there? Another raccoon, snakes, bandits, pirates? I don't know, but I'm ready for whatever. There is a cash supply box, which is nice. Thank you. Hmm. As always, code is one, two, three, four. What do we have here? Another map copy. Oh, missing person. Take a look at this. Missing person named Mitch Michaels, 3162165. Short brown hair, identifying features, distinctive facial hair, general information. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Gen uh, Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th. Of 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with this area. Last known location, Mitch was around, seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 81. Vehicle info is a 72 Ford F-250 blue and white Montana license plate 28-07326. If you have seen or contacted them or have more info, please Contact Shoshone National Forests Dispatch. Ooh. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately. Oh, Shoshone. I'm sorry. Most of them being in this area. <laughs> Shoshone. The because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a... PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Hmm. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Hmm. Okay. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. 
Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh, perfect. So I'm on the right place. Oh, the music, guys. It's the music. It's perfect. Okay, so here... We can follow this up top. And it should lead us right to our smoke trail. Or I could have just followed the little creek. We've got a waterfall. There's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Fabric. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Okay. I think we've got another set of panties up ahead. Wait, hold on. No? Could have sworn I saw more clothes. Here we go. I think they put it out actually, huh? I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? Hmm. That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I right, gotta stump it out. We've got uh, teen zone. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. And those are my sheets. <laughs> well, I found some dangerous hunks. <sighs> what on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. What? These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Mm, okay. Here we go. Take a couple of pictures. Perfection. And maybe actually one more of these. Or, you know what? She didn't tell me to, so I'm not going to waste my... All right, we've got a note here. Also another beer can. Can I interact with that? No. What do we got here? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're gonna find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped up on us on the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Uh, you're probably a mental fucking ax murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. <laughs> oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Oh, come on, don't play dumb with me, Delilah. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, that's not ridiculous. Ridiculous is chucking people's stuff into a lake. Look, I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're, they're gone? Yeah, they're gone. But you should see this place. It's just, it's weird. 
Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. All right, find boards downstairs to patch the window. Well, it's a brand new day. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? <laughs> Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Hmm. Like uh, Burt Reynolds. If Tom Cruise had a good-looking twin. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. Good. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh, my God, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, clothes? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Where is she? Uh, hmm. Where's her tower? I'm a thick beard. You'll enjoy my thin mustache. And I know it's stuff. not easy. Well, I have a thin mustache. Real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar. Goes down across my eye and down my cheek. Well, I just happen to have a thing for thin mustaches. The thinner and pervier, the better. Well, then you are in luck. And a horrible scar. <laughs> Just perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Are you You're flirting what? with me. Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Happy? Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. I think that's the way of the game, actually, uh, showing you what you actually look like. I think she does end up drawing you and you end up seeing it later on. Could be wrong, but I think that was the whole case here. Anyways. Boarding up the window. You know damn well these teens ain't gonna do it. I'll take matters into my own hands. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. Hmm. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Even though that's what we look like right now. Yeah. I do have a thick beard. I think I just lied to her. I better drop this. No! My picture with Julia! I think today's going to be normal. Although Delilah is having a hell of a time getting those communication wires fixed. Those girls really did a bang up job fucking us over. A few days before I left, I got a call from Jules' dad and realized I hadn't really talked to him over the last few years as much as I thought. I think I was so worried about getting Madeline on the phone whenever I would call that I just stopped calling altogether. I guess that's what sort of thing writing all this stuff down is supposed to make me realize. Anyways, Mick just wanted to see how I was doing and I wanted to, and wanted to have me out and I appreciated it because he's got that ain't no worries bloke attitude but it doesn't feel right. I bet Madeline's been hard on him. Goddamn. Here's something else I realized. Jules is like my parents. She liked both of them, but that didn't stop her from laying into me with you're acting like your father 
And I realize now that I love the parts of her that she got from Mick. And the parts of her that she got from Madeline scared the living shit out of me. Except for the whole looks department. No denying she lucked out there. Day 9. Having a nice afternoon? I'm having a splendid afternoon, matter of fact. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. Well, I'm happy to be questioned. Hmm. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe... Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Ooh. Wouldn't that be illegal? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Enjoy the sunset? Really? <laughs> the girl drops a bomb on me. And then tells me to enjoy the sunset. Henry. Henry, wake up. Huh? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Uh oh. What's going on now? What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Uh. Babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, oh, God. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. You get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Well, that was a trip and a half. We've been here now for over a month. Consider me a seasonal veteran at this point. Hike north. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hmm. All right, so we've got to go make a right here and then just follow the trail. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Hmm. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look, so a couple of months before I took this job, I, 
I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Whoa. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Well, only took you 33 days. Alright, so I think we're here at the supply drop. Yep. This is a big one. So I would assume the code would be still one, two, three, four. Correct? Perfect. Ooh. I wonder what happens if we take the food supply. Or supplies. Yeah, it is food supplies for a different lookout. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, just in case. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I wonder if that actually has any consequences. Interesting. It's about another month later and you've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Uh yeah, it's really what? going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Ooh, okay. Sounds like fun. How about the big fire? Uh, flapjack so, fire? Or... No ideas, huh? Delilah. Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Mm. <sighs> Whoa. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like oh, it a lot. Oh, shit. Are you looking at the fire? Oh. Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Well, okay. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. I just completely tried flirting with her, and she just like, all right. Damn. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. But now she's flirting with me. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Whoa. I, I know 
you're not really available, but I want you to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... What? What could we do? <laughs> Tease. This game is so well written. It really is. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, <laughs> and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um,. You know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna go fishing here. Whoa. Okay, how do I do this? Nope, pick it up. Hold on. There is a clipboard here. Kind of mysterious. Hmm. What the... Uh, D? I found a clipboard down here and I, uh... There's... Something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Oh, crap. Look at the strange noise Henry. towards the canyon. I'm worried. Whoa. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but... <gasps> oh, God. What the f... I forgot about that. Oh, my God. Henry? Please don't kill me. Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Damn, that made me jump. I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just, oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in, in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from... Three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. 
Someone hmm. is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. All right, let's hook this really quickly. Let me reply back to her. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Alright, so let's make sure that I'm going on the right path here. So I'll follow the road all the way to the very end and we should get there. Hmm. Oh, this is taking us to the fence once again. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Okay, so get through the fence. Um, Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Hmm. Open up, damn it! Yep, it's not gonna work. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Alright, so Ruby River. South of Ruby River. Now look for the controlled burn south of Ruby River. So all the way down. How am I going to get over there? So we're just going to trace our steps back to where we came from. And then if I remember correctly, there was a rope that we attached earlier a couple of weeks ago uh, obviously in game fireworks have been moved that's kind of interesting go ahead and take that Ooh, the music east hmm, how do I get to Ruby River I'm wandering around east of the lake which way is Ruby River it's in the southeast corner of your map the scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map it looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom yeah it looks like a tent how did I never see that before hmm hey I called around things seem normal with everyone else really Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's <laughs> nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Oh boy. Intercepting our frequency, telling, uh, telling me nothing, just feeling paranoid. I think this one. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. 
All right, I think we're here. Medicine wheel. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. All right, so I think it was down this way. This is where the fire was. Yep. On the fire, uh, the firefighters in Old Scout Camp past I know controlled we don't know burn. on summer break yeah you're right you're right all right here we go back to the good old code Let's see what we got in here Ooh. three blind rats hello is there anybody out there I could have sworn I just heard some bushes oh. I'm not going crazy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. Oh, sorry. Put it back there. Copy the map info. Hmm. Just one stray match. Protect the forest. All right, so now we should have an updated map here. There we go. That's the fire break. And now if we go here, we definitely have enough land to traverse all the way to the bottom right hand side of the map, which is where that is. I think there's something here. What the f A ski. Can we like report on that or? Kind of awkward. Well, guess we'll just keep going. Running, 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 running. Almost there, guys. I think there should be. I'll just make sure I'm going the right way. Yep. It was supposed to be southeast, so. Definitely this way. <gasps> Whoa. A wrecked snowmobile. Oh, maybe I guess because the snow's here. There's some old snowmobiles out here. Like, eventually? That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Wow. There's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Poor pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den or, you know, anywhere. That is a pretty good name. Anyhow, I think we have arrived, but uh, before I go through there, let me just, just kind of scope out the area here in case there's any dangers. All right, let's go back down. Again, man, this game is just so beautiful. What is this? Camp Arab. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Here, let's... Let Henry do the work. Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. 
It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Maybe we actually have to go like up here. Ah, of course. <sighs> there we go. Well, not half bad. We've got a totem pole. Kind of creepy. It's gonna follow the road here. Ooh. Boy, oh boy, what is this? You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Go ahead and take this poster. Thank you. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Bear trap? There are bear traps out here. In the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. I kind of hate how she's so nonchalant about like almost everything we tell her. I don't know. Kind of pisses me off. All right, so I think I've got to go back. Uh, wait, is it this way or wouldn't it be? Yep, I think it's this way over here. Oh, hold on. Okay, Henry, I think we're good, bud. I think we're good. So we're going to grab this axe now. Here we go. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hmm. Perfect. Yes. Now we've got a weapon. Only took us 70 plus days or so. What? Hmm. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding <laughs> it. Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? Now that's a real mystery. All right, we'll drop it. I've got a note here, though. Let's go ahead and... Oh, toilet paper. Never know when you need some. Know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll drop it. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days... Dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... That, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Hmm. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Well, you're not. I'm infinitely complex. Excuse me? But why record us? I think they're studying me. Because of what happened to you before. Everything with Julia. Yeah. Maybe they're studying the effects of something like that? Grief? 
grief when you have no other choice but to be alone with your thoughts? So they set up an entire site just for you? Maybe. Oh, I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, nice. This would be uh, a shortcut here. But I don't think we've gone to the other side. Anyways, let's read this really quickly. The squad boss, Grant Carson. Wyoming. Uh, okay. Dr. Simmons, uh, Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region. Squad boss, Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out uh, to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of the wildfire risk manage management of the region. I told him that uh, they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most pro uh, potent pre preventative measures in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away, but I think they've got an insurance company to answer to. Thanks, as always, for your service. Rick, Rich, Slosorenko. That was a good read, I guess. All right, where do we go now? This is the other side. Oh, chop this down. All right. Chop it down. Come on, Henry. You can do it. <coughs> Down, G. What the hell just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Interesting. Do I have to now? What's the objective? Return back to the Wapiti Meadow, all the way up there, and we are over here. Are you there? I I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Oh, fuck. oh, fuck. Um, there mm. isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh, God. What in the world? This girl's freaking me out. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, 
Uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. It sure is. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Cottonwood. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Hmm. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Hmm. Well, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Alright, so the Cottonwood... Cottonwood Creek. Where is that? Okay, we're here. Cottonwood Creek. Are we going all the way back there again, Delilah? It seems like this is the same place where we were at. Where... Excuse me. Where we were trying to copy the map info. And then the game just teleported us to the next day. Okay, I don't know what the hell we just did, but... Here we are. We've got this note that we never read. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Hmm. Really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages of the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter away through a bottle of Fifi's Fifi's instead. Sorry, don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm sure it's one hell of a bottle, though. Miss you, Dave. All right. More toilet paper. Yo, I feel like toilet paper in this sort of scenario, in this setting, would be perhaps one of the most essentials <laughs> that you could possibly get your hands on. Anyways, we're going back over here. Let's see what we've got. Wait, wouldn't that be the tree that we saw the ski with? Yeah. Should I keep running forward this way? Here we go. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. It's always weird, like... They never met. It's it's so weird. I just don't understand. That's weird. And she, she can clearly do so because she was just here. A new radio. <gasps> Ooh. Sneaky. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. 
Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? Hmm. I know that I'm scared. Oh, this game's so good. None of it makes any sense. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. <laughs> so no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? Hmm. What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm mm. on your side. The mystery roads, it's crazy. Okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. All right, so we're going to, I think if we retrace our steps, I think we climbed over these rocks, which honestly, I don't think it's needed. I think we just kind of go around. It's like a little hill to the left side. But hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Oh, God, what is it? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Uh, what the hell? What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. You're an asshole. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Let's do this. Should I try and fix it? Smash <laughs> open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. No, I, that that's a, a really stupid idea. Hmm. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Uh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. All right, so it says Wapiti Station Personnel. If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th through October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the preview, purview, excuse me, of Katz Ferdinand. Remember, 
this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. I will put that back. Thank you. I don't want to keep that nonsense. I gotta cover my steps. No need for any sloppy work over here. That's right. We are professionals, remember? All right, look at that monitoring tower. That is just excellent. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. Indeed, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. So, oh, let's keep going. Seems to be a dead end in there. I guess we'll drop down through here. This is crazy, bro. Look at this. Wow. I mean, there are all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? dishes and stuff on metal legs there are wires all over the place i don't know i'm not really up on high tech mm. this equipment is not stuff from the hardware store Wait, can i radio one more thing no well, we've got a soil grid now they're doing something with the soil out here too it's all gridded off what else they're up to. Alright, nothing else outside. Let's go inside. Somebody's living pretty darn good in here. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Flip open. Oh, wave receiver. Yes. Now, it's mine. Yeah. And I forgot about all these tools. Wave receiver instructions. Locate any strong signal. Green light target straight ahead. Distance light. Uh, strength of signal. Tone source equals source of signal discovered. Hmm. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind. Beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What's it after? I don't know. I'm going to go find out. Hold on. Let's figure this out first. Can I put that away real quick? Like, kind of driving me crazy. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Earthquake monitor. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. <laughs> this place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. All right, here we go. Whoa, the black box. <gasps> Henry and Delilah. Oh my god. But I forgot this game was so intense. Like I always I remembered it being super good. Are you shitting me? Wow. What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. 
what I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Notice Think the uh, susceptibility and manipulation. Worst case scenario... Uh, worst case scenario, I guess. A bunch of people die. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Huh. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Hmm. Report the map. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Report on the clipboard. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. I really think you should just get out of there, okay? Get home and we'll regroup. Damn, that's crazy. They have all the frequencies and everything. Put that back. Um, what are they trailing? Look at this. So this is subject, Henry, age 39, program status review, one week, four, six, and tenth week. Observation traits, okay? Comprehensive explorer, keeps to the path, prone to anger, passive, guilty, forthright, and guarded. The overview, subject has a fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be significantly proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Update subject may be aware of the tests. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. And this is what's crazy. Susceptibility to manipulation is a 9 out of 10. Hmm. EG. Who the hell is EG? Put it, put that, actually, I <laughs> can't put that back. I ripped it off. Oh, God. I'll keep it. Report on Delilah. Age 43. Okay. Observational traits. Reliable. Considering alcoholism. <laughs> Observing. Charismatic. Selfish. And skewed perception of personal history. Uh, pertinent. Observed facts. Never married. No kids. Rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite long time partner. Name Javier. Three as far as manipulation susceptibility. That's crazy. I'm gonna keep that. They're measuring the barometric pressure too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. Leave it behind. Yeah, I know, but it's just, you should see it. Oh, boy, oh my. I'll throw that there. Let's just make sure, like. There's nothing else here that we could possibly be using and we're not. This is... Oh, can we take a picture of all of this? Yeah. Take a picture of all this shit. That's right. I right, put that back. How do I bring out the... Uh, there we go. Or the compass. Well, that's cool because it already has a compass. Nice. I don't think there's anything else here we can report on. good just gotta head back we are where exactly right now we're here well let's get out oh 
boy. I don't think this is going to make any noise. Per se, but... I'll keep it out just in case. It's crazy because the game's picked out, like, the perfect sort of sound effects and music for the, you know, different scenarios and things that are going on in this story. It's just, again, such a well done video game. It's great. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh my god. Hey, shh. The bridge collapsed climbing out of here and um Wow. Now it looks like there's smoke coming from the site. <gasps> what the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Oh fuck. Call it in. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Oh boy. Day 77. This guy's going crazy. Oh my god. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. Hmm. You know what I just picked up? Uh, uh no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? <laughs> no! I am getting drunk! <laughs> hey D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. Hmm. My thinking is, I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. Oh, radio off. Through here? Ooh. Oh my god. Let's go. Won't you look at that? Shit. What? Ooh. Ah. Yo, that's so trippy, man. Like, what the hell? And that's... That's the key for the cave. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's... There's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452... Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking <laughs> and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It oh. is not me. Oh, my God, go. I'm going. Bro. You can't tell me that is not trippy. Like, that is just crazy. All right, here we go. 
If there's anybody up there, show yourself. Hello? Yoo -hoo. It's empty. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. <gasps> wow. What the fuck? So many details. I forget about this. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? My goodness. They got him good. Real good. this us you're the boss i was just what following orders <laughs> look you know i didn't start this fire so you just tell them the truth right that's all you can do yeah i suppose you're right i know oh god all right so we got to go back to the cave um was it this way i think it was uh hold on towards the canyon I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right, here goes. Moment of truth. <clears throat> Use the key. Cave four, five, two. That's right, damn it. So spooky. Thankfully. Oh, somebody walked. Oh, God. What the hell? Bro, what it. Oh, my God. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. <laughs> Can't get any get damn reception. Jesus, this is a big cave. All right, let's. How do I? How do I drop down again? Oh, it's through here. Thankfully, we still got our little handy dandy tools. That was also very dangerous. If you do that, doesn't like the cave have a chance of like completely just collapsing? I don't know. I've never been cave exploring and. Nor do I want to. It's freezing in here. Mm. 
Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? The shoe. Is anybody down there? Man, I this game is so great. Damn, this game really is pretty big. How unfortunate that we're locked in here now. I would have taken the keys if I were Henry, but of course. Huh? That's it? There's nothing else? Hold on. I, want, I have to make sure. I don't leave any clues or anything behind. We can't really radio Delilah. There's no signal here, but... I just want to make sure. I know we saw that shoe there. But no, we can't even drop down. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Alright, so we gotta get something strong so we can go down and un down and under the cave. So we're here now. an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. <laughs> I don't want est. Five degrees north. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. But he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. I'm sure it was quite elaborate. <laughs> it's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Oh, wow. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all the stats and attributes. Oh my gosh. That's funny. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Hmm. 
I'll keep this as well. Thank you. And a postcard. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say mm. that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Hmm. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Dear Ranger, Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a, with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail. My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Plate, or North Platte, Nebraska 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them. But I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. <laughs> but if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. <laughs> P.S. The reward will be good. That's cute. Hmm. Bundle of options. Those are nice. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um... Now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that hmm. wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me <laughs> sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Whoa. Sorry, boss. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. That was probably one of the delighters. Who knows? Anyhow, we're out of here. Can't wait. Just gotta be. There we go. Perfect. Sweet. Gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Of course. I'm a park ranger now. Hello. Honestly, I just, I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Hmm. All right, so we have to head back to the cave. And we are... Okay, we're almost there. It's good. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. <laughs> Phew. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. Okay. 
Oh, we did take the key. Huh. Well, I'm sorry. I thought we didn't. Well, I guess it's go time now. Here we go. Sweet. Obviously, we have no reception down here, so. Nope. We are officially on our own. Oh boy. I've oh. been getting stuck a couple times here. What the hell's going on? going down oh yeah I feel alive Bro, I don't know if I could do this personally like going into a cave like this heck no oh, shit. oh no This is so sad. You fell. You're Brian Goodwin. Oh my god, how sad is that, bro? He didn't even want to climb. Your stuff gave out. Oh, you poor fucking kid. Wow. So fucking sad. Devastation of a parent. Oh my god, no way. His dad must feel like crap. <sighs> I'm sorry, little buddy. I'm really sorry. Wow, oh, man. The thing is, if he ended up giving up his stuff because his to hide from his father, how come he had more on him and then he ended up obviously dying? It's kind of a little bit of a mystery. I thought he kind of hit everything and then, you know, he hid everything from his father, so they supposedly they wouldn't have been climbing, right? Nonetheless, very tragic. Maybe that's what they're hiding in here. And these guys didn't think I was going to get out. <laughs> you were mistaken. All right. Let's get it. Let's see what Delilah says. Should I go back up? I think I'm going to go back up this way. Okay. Report the body. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, I am. Um, I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. About what? You're freaking me out. He's in there. What are you saying, Henry? The only thing in the cave is Brian. He's dead. His body is in the cave, Delilah. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <sighs> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
think it was an accident. Maybe it was Ned. Mm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. Delilah, you should have told someone he was out here. Stop. Okay, I know. Maybe he would have. Henry, you insensitive shit. You don't think I know he'd be alive if it weren't for me? And I fucking know it's my fault. I'll never forget that it's on me. Hmm. Wow. We didn't take a picture. I'm an idiot. I forgot to take a picture of the body. And honestly, I've kind of forgotten that we had a camera. There is a plane and it's getting really nasty out there. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. Mm. Wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. I'm gonna keep this shit. I don't even know. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Oh, it real nasty out here yikes so right now follow the wave receiver let's see into which direction it's beeping this way yep this way Still kind of traumatized about what happened to that little boy. Yikes, man. Right, you want to hop on over here? And we should be turning left. Yep. It's down this way. No, more towards the right. Should I go this way? I don't even know where I'm at. I don't know where we're going. And back left okay <laughs> okay huh okay nothing here it's okay easy does it what's your status i think i'm getting close all right well i just got word that they are coming to get us my place you sound worried no it's <sighs> it's just brian I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Alright, let's go back down. Uh, uh. 
kind of regretting that. Not taking a picture of that body. I don't think it makes a difference or anything. But it would have been nice, I think. To just have... That sounds psychotic, I'm sorry. Okay. Hmm. One step closer. Literally. Now we're going right here slightly. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> Whoa. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Yeah, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. What the fuck? Yes, but it was his own father. Fuck me. We found the surveillance operation. Okay. What does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Fuck me. You need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Fucking piece of shit, man. <clears throat> Hike north. To thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. Look at this, dude. Man, that guy's a piece of shit. Wow. He... God. What? Nothing, just... Some of Brian's stuff. My goodness. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. Wow. I'm taking all this shit. Freaking bastard. Hmm. Huh. What do we got here? Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, Delilah. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. It's kind of, it, the revelation is still kind of crazy to me. Like his own father, man. For fuck's sake. This was him just basically writing all that shit. Reports. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is... These are like the drafts. Winter needs 1989. 1.5 cords, backup firewood, 400 pounds. Okay, food, three winter jackets, new, three new blankets, 25 box matches, 25 books, socks, 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 new boots. Summer weight gain goal, 35 pounds. All right. Hmm. Workbench. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. Okay. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls. Yeah. I thought you threw it into the lake. Well, he must have fished it out. That also means he's the one that smacked me across the head. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Mm. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Take a picture of this. Okay. We've got some logs here, some radio logs. This is July 16th of 89. Stakes are too high. No one will believe B was happy. Make D and 2F less believable. 2F? Crazy. Like wife? Not good guy. Mama Grizz back. They heard me. Fully believe there's a program. Use this. Reports final. Get a room reminder scout migration due to the fire July 15th, 89 Do not want to leave Reminder, hired supplies for migration Ideas, start working on reports Record all comms, vandalize tower hmm. First ranger fly fishing at J Lake Reminder, rainbows hitting cat flies Sama Magriz on morning hike. Okay. Hiked by the cave. He seems less interested. Oh, hold on. Hike to BT point. Uh, severed radio com. D never called for hiker list. D, could that be Delilah? Hmm. Re rigged Delano to pick up the dual frequency. You can hear D and 2F at concurrently. Okay, 2F hiked by cave. He seems less interested. Huh. Or is that us? 2F. Jules, Julian, Julia. Yeah. 2F is a good guy. Haven't seen Mama Grizz in two months. Yeah. D is drunk again. Yep. He had quite the view. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Alright, so... My objective right now is hike north. So, we just gotta go to the evac. And we are here now into the bunker, so we'll get on out of here. Um, I think... Is this the way we gotta go now? Yes. That there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I 
can't stop thinking about it. Hmm. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <sighs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think... I'm gonna go with them. Hmm. Uh, D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just, what if we missed something about uh, something I don't know Henry you're tired there's nothing big going on they'll come back for you just wait I'm gonna go okay <laughs> oh my god to. I have to I bro. Safe. bro that's so fucked bro my gosh oh my goodness I truly feel bad for Henry, man. He seems like a good person, you know? Obviously, uh, some pretty dark things have happened in his life. and Being here definitely felt maybe like a fresh breath air, but... I don't know how much longer that's going to last for us. Going back in there, that's for sure. Could go back and take a picture, but... I'm not going to do that. Alright, so we're here now. We go straight. What a beautiful game. Not just aesthetically, obviously that's what draws you in. That's what drew me in. But the story that's being told and how it's told, it's truly remarkable. Very, very well told. But don't worry, we are not done yet. Not just yet. I'm gonna make sure we didn't leave anything behind here. You can keep that. I think here. Gotta follow the wires. Is it this way? I don't think so. I think it was through down at the bottom. Yeah, I think this is a dead end. Yeah, right down through here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure. Yep. Follow this road. There we go. Can I climb this? Yes, I can. Perfect. Oh boy. Let me check one more time. Alright, now we follow the road here. Should be up this way. Turning through here. Yeah. It's funny, this whole time we haven't seen Delilah's uh, lookout. Just nuts. And that over there, my friends. That is her lookout. That's so crazy. It's kind of cool how they kept that as uh, such a mystery, right? The entire walkthrough. And then at the end, as you finally see it, I don't know. And it just kind of hits different. Am I going the right way? What's going on here? Yes. Drop down. Ugh. Supply. And this is. Is 
it this way? Yeah. Huh. Man, that's crazy. It was almost... We came here for a supply drop. One of those supply cash boxes. But we never went into the other direction, which was over here. I wonder what would have happened if we would have come here. Maybe there were, there would have been some sort of dialogue, perhaps? Yeah, because we could have seen it. Ooh. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? <laughs> She's gone, Delilah? bro. <laughs> she is gone. Fuck that, dude. Sure that. Thank you. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's go up top. Hmm. Hers is just so much nicer too. <laughs> I mean, she's got a good view. Look at this. Have a good time. You can tell the difference between a woman where she where she lives and, and a man. Like ours was just like complete shit. Oh boy. Here we go. Make sure there's nothing back here. Wow. We did it. We did it, y'all. We're here. Oh. Our slippers, some fire. Hmm. Dish of soap. Clean water. Wait, that's glass cleaner. What the fuck did I just read? Got a mug. Cool. Damn it. You left me here by myself. How could you? Tequila. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hold this. Hmm. Red neck. Uh magnificent osprey wood stork. Peanut butter. An apple. I will keep an apple just in case I need it. Ooh. And this. A drawing by Delilah. This is what... <laughs> this is what uh, she drew me like. Like, based on the description we gave her. So, Henry, what we know. White shorts. Or white and shorts. Okay. I'll go ahead and keep that. Never know when you need it. Look at this, bro. The pork pond. Do you remember? She took the sign. Man, she's so sketchy, dude. Fucking crap. I'm going to equip this. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Probably the one who attacked my face. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, uh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to 
figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... To Santa Fe. You make a good shrink. Let's just go with the first option. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... You came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Well, she's played with this man's head so much, it's crazy. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could. Um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year, we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh... My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Mm. Right, you too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. This sign right here is tripping me out, brother. Pork pond. Draw the bullshit, she said. Is there anything else here that we can... Nothing else here, huh? I think that's... Yep, that's about it. Alright, well, Delilah, it was nice to see you, you know? Finally, I came to your tower you weren't even here you left me behind all right let's get out of here there we go can i pull out the camera just for evidence Santo. I gotta see if they have any other games because this is this is really good. I played this game about four years ago, I believe, and I, I always kind of I've always loved it. I thought it was great. It, it kind of leaves you wanting more and kind of lost in the, in disbelief at some I guess to some degree because the game leads you on the entire time. Okay, maybe Henry and this so-called Delilah, maybe they can kind of have some sort of relationship, right? Henry's wife is ill. She doesn't even recognize him anymore, according to him. And 
Maybe this is a, a, a fresh start. Maybe there is something there. Maybe Henry can have a second chance. But that's completely not what happens. Delilah just basically, utterly, just flat out deceives him. I do feel like Delilah was an incredible character and the way that she was portrayed was phenomenal. Henry was really good as well. I mean, it was just an incredible back and forth between two incredibly well-written characters in my opinion. And it was a really um, a shocking moment, if you will, when you go into her watchtower and you see the pork pond sign and she's been telling you this whole time that it was stolen and well, there it was. That's like one of those what the fuck moments, right? There is also a theory that her and Ned were working together to not only start the fires, but also to frame you for the death of, of the boy, right, of Brian. And uh, even though I don't think that's official or anything, it's just some, you know, fan theory. I, I feel like that would have been really, really good, like a good ending. But um, let me know. What do you guys think about that? I know there's a lots and lots of theories when it comes to this game just because of the way that it ended it just stops you right there and there's nothing else you gotta go back to your wife or you don't whatever you know the game decides to do we don't know because there's no part two but um it's definitely an incredible game and an incredible experience so much so that i wanted to come back here and replay it for you guys um thank you all so much this has been firewatch the full game walkthrough here on the channel i hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching